on campus we have a district energy uh, which means we have a centralized processing for energy and then distribution across the campus which is chill water, water, steam and natural gas. We really have implemented many uh, energy efficiency measures like optimum energy, uh, optim chiller optimization program and other energy programs to reduce that energy. We have uh, quite a large scale series of many miles of piping, underground piping that serves the chill water to our building. This comfort cooling uh, that we provide is all done underground. So we're looking at ways to improve and use district energy to help us come up with more energy saving ideas on how we distribute chill water throughout the campus. Better than 100 buildings here on campus are heated through uh, our district energy plants here on campus. That's one of the main advantages for a district energy plant is, is the heating element. The other main element that we have is what we call our cooling or our air conditioning system. We're using electricity, primarily electricity from the grid, and we use that um, electricity to run large equipment called chillers. And with those chillers, we're able to really efficiently produce the, the cooling here on campus. Lee 3 is one of our unique buildings here on campus, and there was a a goal to make that building one of our first net zero energy building. With exchanging the heat or cooling with the ground is one of the most efficient methods for producing heating and cooling for buildings. It's a heat exchange and it exchanges heat with another loop of water. There's a network and a whole uh, layout of pipes underneath this concrete. And this is how your geothermal heating and cooling works. So we wanted to get a group of students involved with this data. We called it CVAC, Clemson Energy Visualization and Analytics Center. It's a way for a group of students to get together and analyze the data. We've got some students here that are using machine learning to better understand how much power we're not only using today, but how much energy we're gonna be using tomorrow. CVAC is making Clemson a more energy efficient campus. Clemson University has a goal for, to be net zero by 2030 as far as from the standpoint of our carbon emissions. Things that we'll be able to do in the future, I think things that we're doing with CVAC and other groups are going to give us the, the ability and insight to make the right decisions.